Today on the Technivorous channel, we're here to answer your Kira questions. Today's question is, how do you duplicate a model? Let's jump right into it right now. Here we are back in Kira. I'm using Kira 4.11 today, but this method of duplicating a model has been used since, oh, as long as I've been using Kira. So it should work for you because it's always worked for me. Let's check it out. I have a pawn model here. This is a pretty simple model. The nice thing about duplicating in Kira is I can duplicate more than one copy. So while I can't hit Control Copy and Control V for paste, I can right click the model and select Multiply Selected. If I don't want to click the if I don't want to right click, I can go up here with the model selected and click Edit and then go to Multiply Selected. Now, number of copies is exactly what it says. If I hit one, it is going to replicate and make one more copy of the model which will leave me with two copies. So don't misunderstand and think that that's the total number of models on the build plate. If I wanted to add three more models, I would simply make three copies. I've changed the number to three. Now I can hit OK, and it will multiply and place the objects. Now, if I go in and I select three of these models, uh, well, let's select just the one. And I do it again and hit Multiply Selected. It defaults to three because it thinks I want to add three more, I can add any other number and it won't take away the models I already have. So it's still gonna add seven copies of this model. I'm not gonna add that many. Let's add two more copies of this model. Multiplying and placing, and there you have it. We now have six copies of this model. Now this also works with multiple models at a time. I can click multiply selected and multiply all three of these. We're just gonna make one copy of this, which should give us three more pawns multiplying and placing and there we have it it doesn't necessarily place them in the same orientation it just finds a place to place them on the build plate now if I were to select this and multiply selected model let's say we want 50 copies super simple it does take a little bit longer to calculate the space for all 50 of them and to place them and since this model is so small I'm not having any issues. It got all of them onto the build place. There is now 50 plus our initial six plus three more. It should be 59 models altogether here. And you can see them each individually listed in the object list here. And if I go, I can see that it ends at 58. That's because the very first one doesn't have a number. So if I scroll all the way up, that means this is 59. So if there are too many, they will put them outside the build plate and sometimes you can manually arrange them and get them to fit better than the algorithm itself. But right clicking on the build plate and clicking arrange all models should find the best location for all objects for you. You can see it's finding a new location and it's rearranging them. Now they are all spread out to about the same distance and they look pretty good. So not that I need 59 pawns uh, for anything, but if you need to multiply a model, this is a good way to do it. So um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have Kira questions, leave them in the comments down below. I love answering your questions in video form. I will get back to you. Just give me a little bit of time to get through my comments. And if this video is helpful to you, leave a like. Please subscribe, and we'll have more content for you coming up in the future. So hit that notification bell and make sure you don't miss any of these Kira questions videos. Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.